pause and we are back in now with game number four between Team Psy and Don't Lamers, please. The reason why I'm casting this set of games after the Tyrant once is because this was the most voted set of games for you guys, that you guys voted for. Now, each week I will be doing a preview of what is to come in the, the week commencing. I'll be making a video every single week with uh, the updates and the news about the War is Coming tournament. And in each week's preview video, I'll be asking you guys to vote for which sets of games you want to see. And this was the second most voted set of games. So this is the one I'm casting. And after this, we'll be casting Legion Clan uh, versus... Uh, the kebab because that was the third most voted by you guys as well. So this game now is game number four. It is Nomad. It is a Nomad start and we'll wait a little while until the players have their town centers set up and everything sort sort of sorted out. Now in the Nomad start you don't have set locations. You can have very awkward starting positions. You could have very great starting positions. It's all a bit of a look of the draw, in a sense, and we'll just wait until the players get their town centers up before we introduce them. But so far, Psy team to be Psy seem to be very dominant. And uh, Dan DB just donated another one dollar twenty four, but says failed to add a message. Ha ha, winky face. But I love what you do, Zero. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you very much, man. I really appreciate it, and uh, I will indeed be trying to keep this up. There's a lot of games to be streamed, a lot of games to be cast, and I'm going to do as many of them as I possibly can over the next week until we get to week two of the tournament, and then I'll do as many as I can from week two. So yes, uh, we'll introduce the players and see who we've got from each team. Up to the very north of the map in the green, we've got Feng Zin playing as the Mines for Team Sai. Now over to the left of him, in the blue, we've got Sai Air Abu playing as the Vikings. These guys are in the north of the map, and you can see that there is Feng Zin. And over to the left this way, if you come over a little bit more, we've got uh, Abu just over here. Now just down to the south of Abu, we've got No23. He's playing in the orange as the Chinese. And it looks like he's obviously going to be replacing James for this one. And down to the south of the map, I think, nope, he's not there. Where is he? There he is. Over to the right of the map in the grey, kind of surrounded actually by the Vic guys. We've got Mr. Yo playing as the Persians. So Mr. Yo kind of segregated a little bit. He's kind of far away from his teammates over here. Uh, Mr. Yo right on the sort of center, central eastern point of the map. He's got up to his north, Rue gets Kep4 playing as the Vikings in teal. He's got up to his northwest in purple, Vic Winchester in the, in the, uh, purple as the Persians, sorry, and down to his south, he's got Vic DFS in the yellow playing as the Spanish, so Mr. Yo is very much kind of in the middle of all of it at the moment, and over to the far left of the map in the red, there is Vic Warrior playing as the Chinese, so the guys, the teams are all scrambled up, the players are all scrambled up, and these guys are gonna have an interesting game, I'm sure, especially Mr. Yo, who has three or four even, if you count Warrior over here. Four Don't Lame Us Please team members blocking him from reaching his teammates. So that should certainly be an interesting starting location for Mr. Yo. And we'll see how he deals with that because it doesn't look like he's got any food either. In fact, Mr. Yo seemingly has no boar, no sheep, no berries, nothing. And uh, that is horrible for him. He's playing as the Persians, so he will want to get up to the Castle Edge quite quickly. And he has got a dock in the center lake with a few fishing ships out. But I bet Mr. Yo's TC has been falling idle a little bit here. And he is going to have a very horrible early game. As there are simply just no resources nearby for him to even take. His gold is a mile away. His stone is a mile away. And uh, Mr. Yo just seems to be in the middle of the tundra at the moment. I'm just wondering how he's going to get himself out of this situation. Per Gunner just donated $5. And uh, Per Gunner says he's got balls, though. I like that. Zach, what does Hannah say about that? <laughs> Hannah's not too concerned. She knows what kind of balls I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about the, the metaphorical balls. The balls of steel. <laughs> 
And uh, I kind of wish I had the balls of steel bind now on my uh, little soundboard. Oh, Mr. Yo, about to run into the TC of Kep4. And that's obviously um, put Kep's fours at Borlior off uh, off of kind of track a little bit, but he's kept his villager alive, and that's important. That villager going to garrison inside the TC, and the boar has been brought in safely. Mr. Yo probably not too happy. He's lost a villager. He's got no food. He's in the middle of nowhere, and uh, he's got balls of steel, obviously, because he is uh, just kind of living it up, YOLO mode, in the center of the map. Miles away from his teammates and anyone else. So I think this is the opportunity. This is the perfect game that the the Don't Lamers Please team have. This is the perfect opportunity for them to get a game from the side team. I think they, this is the one. This has to be the one where they do some serious damage. Because they, they've been looking at Mr. Yo's location. They just have to have a, a great shout at getting damage to him. Surprisingly, Mr. Yo just managed to bring in a, a boar. I don't even know where he's bringing them in from. Wow. Luckily, he found a boar over here, obviously scouting with a villager because he doesn't have a scout cavalry to begin with. Finding a boar all the way over here, it's so far from his TC, and he's going to lure that in um, from uh, an absolute mile away, doing that with lag as well. Unfortunately, that boar just getting caught on the, on the corner here, but I wonder if he's going to be able to get a second boar in as well. Wow, he's actually sending out... Another villager. I thought he was going to send this villager over to this one here just to make sure that she doesn't die. But I think she's going to be okay, actually. And <laughs> Pergoda donated another dollar. And he says, by the way, we need a RAM emote. Well, I would love to add a RAM emote. But unfortunately, I am limited to the emotes that I have. I'm limited to 2, 4, 6, 8 emotes. Unless we get another 150 subscribers, then I'm not going to unlock two more emotes, unfortunately. But thank you, Pergoda, for your donations. Very much appreciated, and uh, if we ever do get to another 150 subscribers, then I will add a RAM emote, there is no doubt about it. But uh, yeah, Mr. Yo off to a pretty shaky start, fortunately managing to get two boar though, and I'm very impressed by that. Um, and we'll see how that one goes. Elsewhere on the map, Warrior here on this left side, he's got a great location, he's got uh, gold right outside of his TC, he's got stone nearby, he's got sheep, he's got everything. And if Vic Warrior can get a fast feudal here, he's playing as the Chinese, so he's definitely had a good start due to the fact he is the Chinese and starts with extra villagers. If he can get a fast feudal, he could probably take out Mr. Yo's fishing ships pretty quickly on this center lake. In fact, uh, Warrior's actually built a second dock now, docking both the center lake and the outside of the map so that he can secure himself uh, a little bit of pressure onto Mr. Yo's fishing ships in the feudal age. Obviously, these guys don't want to let the Psy team get free fish in the, well, for the rest of the game. If, they, if no one else docks the middle apart from the Psy team, then obviously the Psy team are going to have free fishing. And everyone likes free fishing because that is a huge amount of food extra that you can get. But Vinchester up to the feudal age now. We'll see who else is feudal. Nobody else is feudal yet. Vinchester with a really nice feudal time, actually. Very well played by him, and he is up with the towers, bringing them forwards and starting to pressure Feng Xin with some towers very quickly. And this is going to be pretty nice. Feng Xin, though, starting to wall himself up and make sure that Vinchester, or making sure that Vinchester doesn't get in too much of, a, of his way, I guess. He doesn't want to have towers coming up behind his wood here. And although towers could come up on the right side, out of range of the TC, because the tower has an extra two range, uh, Vinchester is not going to be able to hit the wood right at the back very easily. And uh, Feng Xin keeping his cool by the looks of it. Going to go take the deer and the berries at the back, I think, as well. Might even split his lumber back here. But uh, nice, good play by Vinchester early on. And who else is now feudal? We've also got Abu up to feudal now. Abu the blue player here, and he is in the middle of the map making some galleys, and he's going to send them straight down to Vic Warrior. Warrior here, hoping, I think, that he would be able to get some galleys out quite quickly, but he's not going to be able to do that. And Warrior, as a result, is going to go against Mr. Yo and Abu on the center lake. 
both of them are probably going to add a couple of galleys here to push uh, Vic Warrior off of the middle and kill those fishing ships. Surprisingly, Mr. Yo really not that slow up to the Fuel Age at all. He was actually up. And he is actually up already. And he is building a blacksmith on this right side. It looks like he wants to fast castle. And that makes a lot of sense as the, the Persians. He will want to be making knights and camels once he reaches the castle age. Now we've got DFS also adding in now a... Uh, market and probably a blacksmith as well so he can fast castle this one in fact he's got so much food at the moment with these deer but nearby wow he had a ton of deer dfs with a fantastic starting location he's got a um, i think he's got no what where's his second feudal age building He's not got enough wood. Oh my goodness, DFS doesn't actually have enough wood to click up to the castle age yet. Losing a few precious seconds there. And that's really bad news for him. Meanwhile, we've got uh, Abu, the Viking player, starting to grush the water here. Gonna hit these uh, fishing ships from Kep. And uh, on, the on the center of the map, he's also uh, making those galleys. The Harper donated $3.14 and says, More puns, love heart. Well, uh, I will try... Uh, I'm not good at puns, like they just, the thing is, they just come out. I don't mean to, to say puns and I don't mean to say really stupid things, but they, they just kind of slip out my mouth sometimes. It's not intentional and uh, when it happens, it happens and you guys pick up on it. I, I don't even notice, hence why the Zero Quotes subreddit exists so that I can then at the end of the stream look back at all the stupid things I said and then bash my head on my desk in embarrassment and shame. Um, <laughs> but yes, thank you very much for your donation there, I, I really appreciate it and uh, thanks for tuning in as well. So, uh, Mr. Yo, uh, sorry, not Mr. Yo, Sai No even on this left side, also now going up to the Castle Age. And of course, the Castle Age is so important in land, uh, sorry, not land nomad, well, land nomad and nomad, simply because once you start getting knights out, you can get a lot of map control and do a lot of damage with that. Now, for these guys as well, because they have so many fishing ships in the Dark Age, because um, players have to build their TC from the scratch in the Dark Age, generally speaking, they have a lot more economy when they go up to the Feudal Age, provided they've kept that TC running uh, throughout for the duration of the Dark Age. So, typically speaking, players will go up with more villagers, and hence why fast castling is also very much, well, very done on this map, a done thing. Uh, just because there are so much uh, village, so many villagers and so many fishing ships out. However, the side team do seem to be on the hunt with the fishing ships at the moment. Vic Warrior lost uh, pretty much everything in the middle here. He's just got one fishing ship left, and... Uh, Air Abu with plenty of galleys to deal with that. Just a couple of galleys, actually, but it's enough considering that Vic Warrior made no uh, galleys at all. And Mr. Yo with a huge number of ships on the middle. Abu with ships on the middle as well. And Abu also at the back here grushing the water, but he's coming down to the south, and that's pretty nasty. Warrior going to be losing his fishing ships in the south as well, and he could very easily go over to Vinchester here also. We've also got uh, Kep, who is the Viking player for the um, Don't Lame Us Please team. But Kep is not doing a huge amount of damage to Abu. He seems to have a much larger army on the water. But Kep's not actually taken down any or many fishing ships just yet. He's really focusing on this navy from Abu. Whilst Abu's other galleys, which have split from his main force, are, well, causing havoc in the Don't Lame Us Please fish. So it's not looking good for these guys, actually. Uh, but we do have some Castle Age upgrades now coming in for the other players. And I'm starting to think the, the players who are now Castle might start adding in some fires to help out. Now Vic Warrior could easily add a couple of fires in the middle here and cause some uh, cause some problems, but he's not. On the right side, we've still got Vinchester, or sorry, at the top side even. Vinchester's still towering up like crazy, and I think he's probably still in the Feudal Age. He is nowhere near to Castle at all, but Vinchester losing his fishing ships at the back and also uh, continuing to come in on the front with uh, Feng Xin's TC now being surrounded by towers. Feng Xin is he Castle Age? Well, he's clicked up, so he's not too concerned now about those towers. He will be able to build a new TC at the back of the map. But those uh, those, cast those towers, sorry, from Vinchester are going to be pretty annoying. And Vinchester is putting towers up at an insanely fast rate as uh, 
Feng Zin just tries to relocate at the moment. Maybe he'll put up a siege workshop to help deal with this, but no, he's going to put up a castle first, and that castle is going to be everything he needs, I think, to secure this back section of the map and allow him to put up a couple of TCs and stuff. So that castle going up for Feng Zin. Meanwhile, Mr. Yo is up to the castle age. He's got two stables and knights, but because he's the color gray, we can't see where his army is, and they are... I don't know. They're probably dead, or they probably don't exist. I'm not seeing any knights out for Mr. Yo yet, but I am seeing a monk, and he did get a conversion on that Conquistador from DFS there, which was nice. So Mr. Yo building up uh, second TC at the south. Of course, those second and third TCs are going to be coming in for most players soon. Abu is still feudal, though, and that's expected as the Viking player. They generally stay feudal a bit longer due to the fact that they are rushing quite heavily. DFS actually adding in some uh, a demolition ship here, and still Abu killing off a lot of fishing ships at the bottom of the map. And even though Abu is still feudal, he is still top scorer in this game at the moment, simply because of his galleys which are doing some serious damage. Kept though, taking out the galleys in the north, and he will then be able to start pushing back against Feng Xin. Feng Xin keeping his fishing ships alive and adding a couple of fires, but two fire ships is not going to be enough to deal with the sheer number of galleys that Cap has in the north at the moment. And I'm surprised that Vic Warrior still has not added any fires in the center lake, because still Mr. Yo fishing, and still Abu fishing as well. Now at the top, Finally, uh, Feng Zin now getting up a uh, siege workshop and the battering rams coming out to clear this up from Vinchester. Vinchester looking like he's going to be in a bit of trouble here as he has firstly lost all of his uh, all of his fishing and he's also done so many towers that have had very little effect. They have pushed Feng Zin off of one one lumber camp. And Feng Zin still got the castle time faster than Vinchester. He's still got this castle up and now he's cleaning this up from Vinchester. There's not a lot that Vinchester can do but run back, wait for the castle age himself and then just try and buy himself some time so he can build up. I'm just amazed that Mr. Yo here so far away from his teammates, yet the Don't Lame As Please team have done nothing against him. He's just sitting there with a few knights, a conquistador and DFS, no pressure at all. Kep, of course, no pressure either because Kep is still feudal and he is doing a lot of water pressure. He's not clicked up to the castle age yet and now he has knights outside of his palisade walls. Knights which are going to break down these palisade walls very quickly and Kep really should have walled this up with stone but Mr. Yo is in. DFS trying to quick wall it, but it's too late. Mr. Yo gets in with the knights. DFS going to lose a few villagers here. And Mr. Yo dropping a forward siege workshop as well. So that he can start taking down this TC from Kep. Kep is, uh, well, he could click up to the feudal age. He doesn't have a market and a blacksmith yet, though. Or he doesn't have a blacksmith. He doesn't have the market. The market's very close to finishing. He's going to put that up in his wood line. He needs to wall off on this right side, otherwise those knights can get in. But that tower is going to go up there as well for a good measure. DFS now adding in some conquistadors. Going to try and push this away. But DFS losing villagers pretty quickly. And uh, Mr. Yo just doing some serious damage here, which I just don't get. Like, Mr. Yo is alone at the bottom. Uh, of the map, surrounded by Don't Lame Us Please. Uh, per Gunner donated $3. Stupidity is sometimes as good as her not being stupid. I swear this is the last time. Oh, I missed the last of your message. But <laughs> Dude, yes. They are, that is me saying stupid things, basically. Uh, thank you, though, for your donation again, and uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, but my quotes are terrible. My quotes are nonsense most of the time. <laughs> as well. Um, Mr. Yo, uh, Mr. Yo here, unable to fight those galleys. He did have a good shot at it, actually sinking one, and uh, Mr. Yo is still causing havoc inside of Vic DFS's base and um, Kep's base here as well. Putting on that some pressure with the Siege Workshop. He's got a large army. And like I said, I just don't understand this. How did the Don't Lame His Team not crush Mr. Yo out of the game uh, earlier on? Uh, I mean, Vinchester needed to go south, Kep needed to go south, and uh, DFS needed to go north, and they would have had 3v1 on Mr. Yo there. But I just, yeah, don't really get that. Second castle up for Feng Zin, though. And uh, now, obviously... Vinchester's the one that's being tower rushed, but not quite with towers, with castles. Uh, Feng Zin 
putting those castles up on the front, just causing trouble there. On this left-hand side, uh, it looks like Warrior's doing okay. He's got some monks out, and he's going to convert these buildings from No. 23. No. 23 putting up a castle, though, and it's the, the simple defense. One single castle is enough to push a monk rush back, because the castle will be able to keep the monks at bay, and those monks might get a couple of conversions here or there now, but ultimately, when that castle goes up, they are not going to make it in, and you'll see immediately, if those monks are standing by, that that castle will cut them down in an instant. One shot of arrows, and those monks are dead, and they now cannot push through that gap, and uh, maybe they could come over this side and get a couple of villagers conversions, but is it worth it at this point? Not great for Warrior on the left side. On the water, Abu's got full water control. And, well, actually, no, he's not got full water control. But he has killed everybody's galley, uh, everybody's fishing ships, it seems. Kep, gonna go and clean up those fishes from No. 23. But in the center of the lake, Mr. Yo and uh, Abu still fishing. Now, on this right side... Mr. Yo's army breaching those walls once again somehow. Must be through here. And he is putting on some serious pressure onto Kep now. Kep's finally made it up to the castle age, but those rams are coming in. But DFS coming in to try and help out with some conquistadors. However, there are camels here from Mr. Yo. And camels will have an attack advantage against the conquistadors here. They're outnumbered and they are going to have a hard time. Uh, the conquistadors are great, but you need a few numbers of them. You need a few of them even to be able to do damage or some serious damage but wow there's the GG already for the don't lame as please team as Kep's base gets demolished by Mr. Yo and these guys just seem to have nothing at all like I said earlier I still feel like DFS probably the weaker link here I mean Mr. Yo no not a single single bit of pressure onto him at all and his he was just so far away from anything. I mean, Vinchester trying the, the the forward tower aggression on Feng Xin, but it just wasn't enough. And uh, as soon as Feng Xin got castle and started putting those castles up in retaliation, yeah, there was nothing left that um, that Vinchester could really do there. He was getting plumed archers on his ass, and that amount of plumed archers will take down knights very quickly. Not good play by the Don't Lame Us Please team, really. Uh, getting taken out very quickly. And uh, meanwhile, Abu also getting up to the castle age there. He'd done the damage on the water already, and uh, he could either fall back and sling, or he could go aggressive with some monks and try and get conversions on Vinchester's army, supporting Feng Xin in the center of the map. Warrior also trying with the monks, but against a castle which uh, No. 23 put up in a good time, he did manage, or didn't manage, sorry, to do too much damage. So, yeah, the Don't Lame's team just don't seem to be able to get a